tofu. Once the reserve of vegetarians, this meat substitute has wobbled its way onto more of our plates. I want to know how they make soybeans into white tofu. You like making me work, don't you? <laughs> what exactly is tofu? Good question. I don't know. Is this like one of those mystery foods? I mean, what is it? I have no idea. Nor have I. Is there chemicals in my tofu? E575 and E509. Yeah, what's all that about? They make absolutely nothing to me. <laughs> So, how do they make the squidgy stir-fry staple? And what are these weird-sounding E numbers? To get some answers, I'm flying east to tofu-loving Tokyo. Along with their Chinese neighbours, the Japanese have been enjoying this protein-rich food for thousands of years. In fact, tofu is such a staple here, you can pick it up pretty much anywhere. Now, I'm waiting on this street corner because I've heard that there is a toffee man that sells tofu out the back of his van, and this is on his route. Oh! <laughs> Konnichiwa! This is bonkers. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa! Can I see what you've got in the back? Ooh! It's a proper little tofu shop. All different types of tofu. What type of tofu is this one? Abrage. Oh, deep fried. Can you wash it off? Oh, yeah. Gosh, you're like the ice cream van, but loaded up with tofu. The food is so popular here that there's a tofu van like this serving every suburb of the city. So how do you go from soybean to get to this? OK, well, arigato. Hi, arigato gozaimasu. You've got a customer. Konnichiwa. The Japanese even eat tofu freshly made for breakfast. So, much like our bakers and milkmen, producers are up at the crack of dawn. As am I. It is 5 a.m. on a Saturday morning, and I'm looking for a tofu shop. I'm on my way to meet third-generation tofu maker, Mr. Higuchi whose family business has been keeping Tokyo in tofu for nearly a century. Konnichiwa. Oh, konnichiwa. Haguchi, sir? Hi. Kate. Kate, sir. So today we're going to make some tofu. Hi. We're going to make some tofu. OK, where do we start? We're going to make some tofu. Gosh, they've like doubled in size, haven't they? The bloated soybeans are loaded into a stone grinder, which crushes them down into a paste. This is then steamed for around half an hour before being passed through an industrial sieve, which siphons off the pulp, leaving behind soy milk, which is key to making tofu. So this is the stuff you're really interested in, the soy milk. That is the freshest milk you're ever going to milk from a bean. <laughs> But what magic trick turns this liquid into solid? Oh, what is that? Ryusan calcium. Calcium sulfate. Now, that rings a bell from chemistry class. It's like Plaster of Paris. Both this and Plaster of Paris start life as the mineral gypsum. So if you spot E516 on your packet, it's this stuff. It's OK in my tofu. I'm going to have a little dip dab off my finger, OK? I feel like I've run my tongue over a building site. Calcium sulphate acts as a coagulant, which congeals the milk and sets it into the solid blocks we know as tofu. And that is it, just that little bit of gypsum. That's all you need to coagulate your tofu. Sorry. And 30 minutes later, we have liftoff. Ooh! And there we have it. We've made tofu. Can I try? Right. It's very Sorry. silky smooth. That is delicious. 